I'm now joined by William Bialik, the winner of the 2018 Max Delbruck Prize in Biological Physics. Bill, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So congratulations Thank on the prize, first of Thank all. Thank you. It's a big deal. So tell us about what it is you did to, to earn this award. Um, so as it says it's a prize in biological physics, I'm a theoretical physicist who's been interested in problems related to biology for, for my whole career. And uh, the prize cited um, a wide range of work in which my colleagues and I have used uh, very basic physical principles to try and understand how biological systems are organized at different scales from molecules all the way up to groups of animals. So this work that you've been engaged in, why is it so important to the physics community? I think that that the, the things that we've done, what when we started, and when sort of my generation of physicists who got interested in biological problems started, it wasn't obvious that you could do theory in the way that we're used to in physics, in, in such a complicated context. The phenomena in, in biological systems are beautiful and they, they attract our attention, but it wasn't clear that we could have theories like like we're used to, you know, theory, theory with a capital T. And over the years, we've been able to show, partly by collaborating very closely with experimentalists, that that really is possible. You know, that you can you can make predictions at the one percent level, that you can get a, a confrontation between theory and experiment that is as precise and quantitative as we're used to in the rest of physics, and get all the way from very general and abstract principles down to the details of these very complex systems. Interesting, and now you're also a member of the APS Council of Representatives. Yes. Right? So can you tell us yeah. a little bit about, about that and the work you're doing with them there? So the, the APS is, is governed in this very somewhat complicated way, uh, and, and one of the, the components of that is that all of the different divisions of the APS have representatives, uh, and we're sort of an interface between uh, the governance and the membership. And so, in particular, at the interface between physics and biology, where I work and, and where the Division of Biological Physics, which I represent, um, is working, there are a lot of issues. You know, what are the boundaries of physics? What's the role that the physics community is going to play in, for example, the education of the next generation of, of more quantitatively oriented biologists? What parts of this problem belong to the physics community and what parts can we comfortably let go to, to our biological colleagues. And so there's a lot of discussion about that at, at many levels. And so when it rises up to something that the, that the society as a whole is interested in, it's my job to, to provide that interface. Well, that's all very important work and congratulations again on Thank the big you. award, okay? Thank you. Thanks, Bill.